What is up, people? This is me, Spec Poo Football 24 here. We are week five into the regular season. And I'm pretty sure if you guys remember last year, I said that I was not going to get on EDP 445 again. But this shit pushed me over the fucking edge. It really fucking has. It really has. It really has pushed me over the fucking edge to the fact that I need to make another rant video about this dumbass motherfucker. You know, it's crazy because rival fans, they call him out on this bullshit. Which is respectable because they're rival fans. But here's the thing about it. This is what rivals fans say. Directed to us, they say that we feel bad that you have this dumbass motherfucker as a part of your fan base. That's sad, yo. That's fucking sad. Mad Dog 76, uh, he be saying that shit. City of Champions, who's, eh, you know, he's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. You know, we only we only meet up with the Steelers, like, what, once or so, once or so, and, um, like, every five, six years, maybe. He says that shit. He's an interstate rival. He says that shit. City of Champions says that shit. Matt, I said Bad Dust 776. He says that shit. I bet you Simon, uh, Simus, the Dallas Cowboys fan, I bet you he be saying that shit. I, I haven't even clicked on any of his videos yet. And I already know that he came at his ass. That's the sad part. He can't. He came at him for this bullshit. Redskins fans, they could man, they don't come at us like that. But one of them came came at him and saying saying the exact same shit. A Panthers fan came at came at him. <sighs> Bro, how much of the fan base is gonna come at EDP for his bullshit? That's not even the Eagles fan. That says a lot. I mean, I can understand Rivals fans, but a Panthers fan coming at you, um, a Bears fan, I believe, he came at you. The fuck? You got people not even in their division, let alone not even in their fucking conference. That, that, that fans of different football teams coming at you for your bullshit. And they said the exact same thing that I just said involving you being a part of our fan base. They would hate the fact that you would be a part of, that you would be in our fan base. And for us, it's no different as an Eagles fan. Eagles Speed came at you. Event Stats came at you a couple years back. Uh, psh, I came at you. The fuck? And now, just now, Desert Eagle 90, he came at you hard to a point where you had to fucking respond to him. And you clearly failed at your response. I'm tired of your shit, bro. Just like what he said. Um, by the way, Mr. Go Philly Eagles, he just came at you because he got tired of it. The people that were fans of you, they got tired of it. They're done with you. Plain and simple. Hey, Darius, I don't know if he I don't know if he came at you, but for what I'm heard from De uh Desert Eagles, they said that he came at you. We are tired of your shit. I bet you this. If one of us ever saw you at the Lincoln Financial Field, let alone Philly in general, if we ever saw you we would we would call you out in public for what you really are. In front of all the Eagles fans, in front of Dallas, we don't give a fuck. I would love nothing more but for any of us to call you out to expose you for what you really fucking are. We are fucking tired of you, bro. I said this before a year ago. I said a year ago that any, it doesn't matter what kind of Eagles gear you have, it's all layers and they're all cover-ups for what you truly are. And then once I made that video a year ago, I got your fucking fanboys breathing down by my neck. But you know, but you know why I'm happy they're breathing down my neck? They're breathing down my neck because they know for damn sure they're fucking right about their, you know, their, um, their favorite YouTuber. Or their favorite uh, uh, football fan, whatever it is. They know I'm fucking right. They also know that if EDP was really doing this, was really acting, this, acting like this in the city of Philadelphia, those niggas will find him and they will beat his ass. Point blank. He doesn't know what this shit is like in Philadelphia. 
We don't we don't act like that in Philadelphia. Plain and simple. Y'all ass about there in Bakersfield, California. You have no idea what that shit's like. It's funny because there are fans out there in Canada that act better than you do. There are fans out there in North Dakota State. Bison, let's go, Carson Wentz. There are fans like them that act that act better than you do. They just became fans. They they it's crazy because they embody more of what Philadelphia is all about than you do. And they've only just became fans. And I hate having to say, oh, because you love them in Bakersfield, California. I hate having to say that for out for people that's not in Philadelphia. I really hate having to, I really hate having to say that. But when people like you that don't know what the fuck the Philadelphia Eagles is all about, you make me want to say shit like that. It's sad, bro. It's sad. It's sad that it's sad that North Dakota State fans really, really, they really act a hell of a lot more better than you do. And they just became fans, maybe because of Carson Wentz, but they still embody what the fuck Philadelphia is more than you do. But, hey, man, I said it a couple years ago. I said a couple years, I, I got, I got, I got at you a couple years ago. Event Stairs got you a couple years ago, and apparently you don't fucking learn. Especially Event Stairs, you thought about it you would have learned after he came at your ass. And they told you... He told you that you could have got a fucking job. You wouldn't be in your apartment right now. You wouldn't be in your room right now. You would have actually had money. You would actually be doing something with your life, doing something better with your life instead of being inside that room all day and just chanting for the Eagles. Or having all that Eagles gear up all over the place. It's funny because I'm looking at YouTube right now and the one thing I see is... <laughs> All I see is Giants fans, Cowboys fans just coming at you and Randy. I just, I just wow, yo. I mean, there's nothing else that I could really, really say about you because I've said everything that I have to say and what everybody else is saying now is basically the same shit that we've been trying to tell you. You don't fucking learn, bro. You don't fucking learn. All you do is sit up there and make a fool out of yourself. And then you want to sit up there and take your shirt off and twerk, and then you want to go up there and say and say you hate the fucking Eagles. And get the fuck off this team, then. You will never hear me utter those words. You will never see me fucking twerking. I know that for a fact. You will never hear me say say those words saying I hate the fucking Eagles. You'll you'll definitely hear me say I hate Dallas Cowboys before I, I'll even say I hate the Philadelphia Eagles. You's a fucking fraud, fake ass farewell of fan. And it doesn't make no fucking sense that it, it just don't make no sense of the views you got. It don't make no sense at the subscribe. It's amazing how people even look at you and just think that you're really a fan of Philadelphia Eagles fans that are outside of the Eagles fan base that really think that you're an Eagles fan. It's a damn shame, bro. So this is the thing. When I finish this video, I'll call I'll call those fanboys again. For those fanboys, go ahead, comment all you want in the comment section below. But it still will not change the fact of how us real Eagles fans really feel about this fake ass Fairweather Eagles, uh, so called Eagles fan that lives out there in Bakersfield, California, that doesn't know what it really means to be a Philadelphia Eagles fan, that doesn't represent the heart of the Philadelphia Eagles fan base. So, I spoke my claim. Everybody else, they spoke their claim. Hell, I'll shout out some rivals like I did before. Sh shout out the Redskins Review, who called them out May 24th. Shout out the Eagle Speed. Shout out the City of Champions. Shout out the uh, Mr. Bad Dog, who, who I definitely can't wait until he puts out that old ass um rant video that he did. Because I, I couldn't help but laugh. Shout out the Desert Eagle. Shout out the Simons. Shout out to all, um, all, all the people that currently got up his ass over his bullshit. Shout out to them. If I didn't mention you, I apologize. But hey, thank you for, for getting up, for shouting. Thank you, man. That's all I can say. I'm sorry for stuttering, but hey, 
You can't blame me for starting when really I have so much anger built up inside me over this dumbass right here. I can't, I can't help it. And uh, I try my best to contain my composure on him, but hey, that's what happens when you have a Fairweather fan as an Eagles fan. It's funny because he's not the only one, but he's not the only Fairweather fan, but he's damn sure the leader of those Fairweather fans here in Philadelphia. Or so-called, you know, Eagles fans. So, yeah, I'll catch y'all later.